Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com, and today we're going to talk about creating careful line work like this dragon drawing. And when you see a drawing like this, it's really easy, especially if you're a beginner, to think that the artist is just very steady, that their years of experience means they can now draw without any mistakes, and this is what they end up with. But the truth of the matter is a drawing like this often is the end of a multi-stage process, and the process starts very rough. So in the next few videos, I'm going to talk about how you would get to making a drawing like this one. But we're going to start first with drawing from reference. We're going to draw this Komodo dragon. And then we are going to take the same exact approach and draw a dragon, which clearly has no reference. But it all starts with something very rough like this. So let me take a step back here. If I were to just try and slowly, carefully draw my finished line work right from the get-go, I might have sort of a wiggly line. Because what I'm doing is I'm trying to both have a careful, finished line, but I'm also trying to design something. So what I need to do is split this into two phases. I need to design first, and then go back over top and sort of clean up. So you can think of it as rough and fast, and then slow and careful. And with the aid of Photoshop layers, we can literally keep them separate. So you can have your rough and fast on its own layer, and then you can turn down that opacity a little bit, almost like you're using tracing paper, and then begin to do your finished lines on top. And so in today's video, what we're going to focus on is that first phase, the fast, loose, but rough. And as you can see here, I'm working from reference, although I'm not going to keep the reference on screen, because when I work, I like to keep it over on my second monitor. And you can see immediately here, I have a very large brush, and this is on purpose. If I have a big, wide brush, it sort of leads to happy accidents. In fact, this kind of starts back in art school when on one of my higher level anatomy classes, we actually were required to get kids crayons, like good old Crayola crayons. And I thought this was a joke, but sure enough, I brought them to class and we started drawing with them. And a really wonderful thing happened. You can't get too detailed. You can't get finicky because of just the feeling of cheap paper and these thick waxy crayons. You get these nice, smooth gestural marks. It's almost impossible to not be loose when you're working with something that's so cheap and throwaway. And then you could take the results from that and you could get out a fine tip something, whether it was a pencil or a pen, and then find some nice lines and make a finished drawing on top of it. And this was a really eye-opening moment for me because what I realized was the looseness that comes from the inherent qualities of the media were helping my final result. The fact that I was using a crayon was literally loosening me up. So now when I draw in Photoshop, I use the same principle. I work with something that is throwaway quality. It's a big, wide, ugly mark. But what it does is it helps me loosen up and it helps me get a nice blueprint for my finished drawing. So here when I'm looking at reference, what I'm thinking about are proportions. I'm thinking about the angle of the head relative to the angle of the body. I'm thinking about the way the balance is happening, whether the center of gravity is in the right place or he looks like he's going to fall over. And I'm trying to make my marks as long and fluid as possible. You can see I'm also using the eraser here. And I'm really sort of balancing back and forth between looking at my reference correcting my drawing a little bit. And never am I thinking about careful contour lines. I'm not thinking about details at this phase. I'm really just sort of massing out the form based on the reference I'm looking at. I'm also drawing through the form a little bit to sort of get a sense for those cross contours so I can sort of feel the three-dimensionality of this form. You notice I'm not just drawing the outline. I'm sort of feeling the 3D form. And so what you can see slowly happening here is you're getting the essence of the Komodo dragon, not the very specifics. We'll do the details later. You know, it's this rough, messy part that allows you to then dig into those tiny details later with more confidence. So here I'm really doing the design part. Here I'm making my mistakes, I'm changing things, I'm cutting parts off and I'm rearranging them because I'm going to throw all this away. What I'm doing is I'm setting up a nice foundation on which to make my final drawing. So in the next video, we are going to talk about how to make that refined, finished line art. And then the video after that, we'll talk about how to take this entire process and apply it to something where you don't have reference.
So stay tuned and thanks for coming to the site, guys.